So I'm going to go ahead and jump into our presentation. Again, uh, the slideshow has a number of links in it. And if you want to be able to access those links, you can get the link that's in the chat, tiny.cc slash rpinfo, info, or you can shoot the QR code, and I'll have this available at the end of the presentation also. So what is Rat Pack? During the 2020 COVID-19 pandemic, Idaho Section Manager Dan Marler, K7REX, saw a need for a program to foster continued activity of amateur radio operators. Soon Rat Pack was born, including the cute mascot logo. Radio Amateur Training, Planning, and Activities Committee, Rat Pack, comprises amateur radio operators of a wide variety of backgrounds and experiences. Together, the committee hosts nationwide, twice a week, amateur radio Zoom presentations. The topics are selected from audience recommendations and current trends in amateur radio. Wednesday sessions focus on general radio topics, whereas Thursday section, Thursday's sessions focus on amateur radio emergency communications. The planning committee selects topic experts or discussion panel members to present. The audience consists of thousands of amateur radio operators worldwide who participate either directly in the live Zoom sessions or via recorded videos and documentation of the presentations. As of September 2023, over 320 sessions have been presented. Thousands of hams have participated live or watched the recordings of the sessions. Over 20 categories of presentations, including ARIES, contesting, digital, emergency, field organization, historical, just for fun, kits and building, leadership, licensing and rules, operating, public relations, section manager meetings, space, technical, traffic, windlink, youth, and community. All live sessions and recordings are provided free to all interested viewers. There are no dues. There is no YouTube monetization. There are no special level patrons. We invite viewers to use any of our recordings for club programs, forms, training, etc. Rat Pack is inclusive, inviting a wide variety of speakers. Rat Pack supports other organizations that are dedicated to promoting, educating, and training any and all amateurs around the world. And we are privileged to work with the uh, QSO Today Academy. Rat Pack encourages freely sharing knowledge across amateur radio. Rat Pack's goal is all are welcome. Amateur radio should be inclusive, not exclusive. We want you to join with us and be part of the group because Rat Pack is also those that attend the sessions weekly ask the speakers questions, watch the recorded videos, and have continuing discussions on the mailing groups, etc. And we'll talk more about the mailing groups in a few more slides. You can also help us with suggestions. There's a link here anytime you see this font. That means there's a link you can click on uh, to go out to the forum and suggest topics. You can suggest a topic for presentation. You can volunteer to do a presentation or suggest a speaker for a presentation. Join us live Wednesday and Thursday. Zoom links to watch upcoming presentations live are available on the website always by going to ratpack.us slash zoom. The times are 9 p.m. Atlantic, 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Mountain, 6 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. AKDT, 3 p.m. HST. During the summer, it is 0100 UTC, or during the winter hours, it is 0200 UTC on the following day. Again, the Wednesday, the, both of them use the same link, and you can use this link to get to the Rat Pack Zoom link anytime you want to. I will also copy it and put it into the chat. But it's just easier to remember. I'm not going to do that because it's just easier to go to ratpack.us slash zoom and you'll always have the most current zoom link. To keep up with new and recorded sessions, discuss topics with other interested hams, we use a number of tools. The first is group IO mailing list. Second is online listings with spreadsheets. Our website 
at ratpack.us, Twitter, now known as X, Facebook, YouTube channel, and Instagram. Let's go through each of these individually. So our Groups.io mailing list, there's three of them. Rat Pack at Groups.io, New Hams at Groups.io, and SEC-MCOM at Groups.io. You can subscribe to any or all three of these groups. Not only will you get updates of Rat Pack information, but you're also to welcome uh, to discuss any aspect of amateur radio on these mailing lists. The second way you can get information is by using the spreadsheets that we publish. And the link is, there's two links. One is tiny.cc slash ratpack dash list, which is the most common one. We also have a spreadsheet format. And I'm actually going to click on the limit. And again, that's tiny.cc slash ratpack dash list. Now, there's another way to do it. We also have a menu. So the publish format which we showed first, and the menu format, which is basically the spreadsheet. Each has a few different features, but most of the people use the published format. Both formats have multiple tabs, which I've already shown. And I also talked about the notification. Our third item is the Rat Pack website. This is www.ratpack.us. We might as well go out and visit it. And here you will see our mission uh, statement. You will also see uh, information including the link to uh, some suggest topics. You can also get a link to the Rat Pack slideshow, which will be tonight's slideshow. This has not been updated, so it's the old one from last year. You can also see all of the group I.O. mailing list right here, the YouTube channel, Twitter. Uh, also, we're on threads also. I forgot about that. Uh, also, uh, mailing list uh, that you might want to subscribe to from the AWRL. Uh, Facebook link, threads link, Zoom link, and then we also have embedded that same spreadsheet you saw earlier. If you click on the top of the top, a tab on the top that says Zoom, that'll always give you the most current Zoom link. You can simply click on it, and that will start the Zoom meeting to go into Rat Pack that night. As I mentioned, Twitter at ratpack.p. I'm sorry, at ratpack.p, no dot in there. And we try and post the uh, upcoming information and then we also post when we have new slideshows available and new recordings available. Facebook uh, slash Rat Pack FB for Facebook. We have a YouTube channel. If you go out there you'll get to our YouTube channel and you will be able to see all of our YouTubes. And this will start auto playing so I will stop that here in a moment if it does. Uh, we also have featured videos but you can also go into our playlist where we have the videos broken down by different categories, such as boat anchors, DXing, beginners, DMR, soda, poda, portable software, news, humor, et cetera, et cetera. So you can go into any of these. And when you go to any of these groups, you'll see all the videos that apply to that. So if you go to the beginners section, you'll see that we have a series of four beginners videos for VHF, for, uh, videos for HF, and we also have some other beginner's materials on this particular playlist. Just a couple of little things about YouTube. Uh, being, we can see the, the information that you can't all see, but over the last 1,800 months, I'm sorry, the 1,800 months, the last 18 months, we've had over 320 videos posted. We've had over 203,000 views. Uh, over 34,000 hours of viewing and over 3,700 subscribers. And if you're not subscribed, we'll hope you consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. This will let you know when we post new videos. And we recently, a couple weeks ago, had our record viewing for one day with over 2,300 views in one day. Sometimes we do special series. In August 2021, we did a special series of eight-plus sessions devoted to the topic, What Are Emergency Management's Expectations from Amateur Radio? We had FEMA. We had South Carolina. We had North Carolina. We had cybersecurity. We had Oxcom. We had uh, MCOM. We had Resawig. So we had a bunch of different organizations, and we had a number of presentations. Those are all available by going to the list. In Ju July of 2022, 
uh, Morty Wool N six V I and I did a series called Beginner's Guide to VHF UHF. There's one slideshow with a couple with over a hundred and some slides in it, but there's also four one hour videos you can watch with different aspects of beginners guide to VHF UHF and this has been very popular I've heard from many people that they give this to all the people when they're doing their technician licensing in October 2022 we decided to reinvent the wheel again but this time it was myself and Dennis Kidder W6DQ and we did a four-part series beginners guide to HF uh, covering HF bands operating making contacts equipment and antennas putting it all together and Week four is not even listed, or I need to add that to the slide, but that was establishing your HF identity and some other things. Um, we just are in the middle of a series that we did August, September on WinLink filtering forms, updates, and more. We've had the first three sessions, but we still have two left to go on WinLink great sessions with Oliver Dooley doing a number of presentations in addition to some of our other presenters. Uh, this last week we finished part two of a series called You and Your Local Ham Club's Role in Youth and Community and Amateur Radio. Uh, the first one isn't an hour long, it's an hour and a half because we get a lot of questions and then part two is one hour and then the slideshow is about 150 slides. Not only does it cover youth and amateur radio, but it also talks a lot about just doing demonstrations for the general public, uh, having resources available to do it, and uh, you know a lot of ideas on getting amateur radio out there in the community. You gotta have fun, and working together every week, the planning committee gets to know each other quite well. There's about eight people that are almost always there. Our planning committee is about a dozen people. Sometimes we jump between topics and go off on weird topics, and that's what results in some of our weird subjects we have. As you're going to see, uh, if you look at the upcoming list, we have a special Halloween activity this, this uh, coming up on November 1st called the ha Haunted Band, and you can find out more information about that by looking at our listings. So having April Fools and holiday sessions is a natural outgrowth of the committee's joking. Uh, we've done April Fools. Uh, specials for 2021 and 2022 and the first year was called microwave microbiology and nano, nano nonsense and the second year was the MacGyver day session for April's full eve squared and we went through a whole bunch of things that seem crazy but are really great ways to get things to work when you have to fix something with nothing so take a look at the MacGyvers I think it's one of the most fun videos we did We've had two years of holiday specials, and we'll probably have another one this year, usually in early or to late November, so you can get gift ideas to buy your favorite ham. You can also share these videos with your significant others, family members, friends, etc., so they can think about gift ideas for you for the holidays. So we have both the YouTube show that you can watch and the slideshow, which has all the links in it. So that's it for our brief introduction. I guess I got in under 15 minutes. Uh, you can view this slideshow and all the links at tiny.cc slash ratpackinfo. And I'm actually going to go back to the first slide. So you actually have the QR code. If you simply shoot that QR code on the screen, it'll give you access to this slideshow and all the resources in there. And uh, this slideshow will be posted in the next couple days to the Rat Pack homepage. It's not there yet. Michelle, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to 